So we've been very humbled and, and privileged and proud, actually, of our journey so far uh, with diversity and inclusion. Um, and I think where we've reached last year and with our nominations and submissions, there was a number of attributes um, that I think as a firm we really put together and, and we did well. First and foremost, that we were almost from for different 45 different nationalities. Um, and that's a massive accomplishment when you think about that 45 different cultures from around the world are coming together and working harmoniously together. Uh, the second was that actually 45% of those of our population were actually women. Um, and again, when you look at where we were almost five years ago, that's also been a really great achievement and accomplishment that we've been able to achieve. We also had 50% uh, uh, an equal portion of promotions that were in the organization. Um, and also uh, something else I've been very, very proud of is that we actually put initiatives for people of determination, people of underprivileged backgrounds, and at the same time, fresh graduates and a fresh graduate program uh, that we're able to encompass. And lastly, which I think was something that, that, that really stood out for us, was that the psychological safety uh, for women in our firm was actually higher um, than men, which I think was a really great uh, and very unique accomplishment, I think, in, in our own right. I think one of the first initiatives when we looked at diversity and inclusion that we really focused on was around culture. Um, and when I looked at culture and I looked at the cosmopolitan structure of the UAE, it was very important for us to reflect that. Now we live in a society which is, is built of over 200 different uh, cultures and backgrounds. So how do we encompass and bring that together? Because that's also a reflection of our clients and, and the community that we live in. So for us that was very, very important that we focus on how do we expand and increase that. And I'm very proud to say that we've actually achieved so far we're almost from 55 different countries. So we have people from almost every single continent. Uh, um, and they come in with, with their experiences, their backgrounds, their understandings, and collectively I think that elevates um, intellect, it elevates creativity, it elevates harmony, um, and really allows us to be a very unique professional service firm uh, in our own right. Well, it's very important to have a, a, a reflection of the society we live in as well. So I think the corporate world really took some time to catch up to, to that balance. And, and so that was something that we wanted to do. And when you look at the community that, that we're part of, the community has a, 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 a balance of genders. It has a balance of, of, of opportunity for people with determination uh, that are there or that we have the right that we should provide that opportunity to them. Um, it was important as well to look at people from underprivileged backgrounds. So for me, it was very important that to really map out and look at what our community looks like and say, how can we have a reflection of that in our organization and the efforts we need to put in place to ensure that that is done. Um, it's been it's been enjoyable. Um, I think it's been a really fantastic run. I think I think every year we see um, a different prospect. Um, we look at where we are today and we say that you know we've 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 kind of you know step one we really crossed the path of having an almost balance of, of you know 45 percent women in the business. But our next journey is how do you get these women in leadership positions um, and act as mentors for everybody else. So it's a never ending kind of journey, but it's a journey that we continue to to grow and aspire in. Um, um, and I think it's, it's very, very important that you, know, you constantly have initiatives to put in place to ensure that you're constantly growing and progressing within the DEI perspective. So there's a couple of initiatives that we really want to focus on in the coming years and put in. As I mentioned, you know, one of the main ones is really women in leadership. And women in leadership is very, very important. It's not just a matter that we give you know, the opportunity for women to kind of you know, represent themselves and show their professionalism, but it's actually you know, the influence that they have. Women have a very different perspective of, of looking at, at challenges and problems, on managing stress. Um, and, and when you have that at leadership positions, that, that cascades down to the firm as a whole. So that for me is a very, very important uh, you know, process that we're going to have to be putting in place and ensuring that we meet that. And we've actually put that as one of our highest KPIs in our 2027 strategy, uh, which we'll be implementing shortly. The second thing as well is, is, is people determination. Um, I, think, I think that there's, there's a lot that as a society, as a human race, that we can learn with, from people with determination when given the opportunity. We had the wonderful example of, of, of one of our colleagues that had joined us a few years ago. Uh, when, when they first joined, it was, it was very difficult for them to even type on 
on a, ty on, on, on a keyboard. Uh, today they're part of the tax team and then they're working uh, intricately with the rest of the team. So we've seen that progress and I think you know we've seen the impact that has had on our people, um, let alone on, on themselves and their families. Um, so I think that is also another key attribute that, that we want to really push forward to as well.